This edition of GHA's V News is brought to you by Shinoquan's annual Black Belt Retreat. Now in its 28th year, Gone 28 is truly a unique retreat that no Black Belt will want to miss. Visit blackbeltretreat.com for more information. to the June 2019 episode of GHA's V News. My name is Master Sean Pearson. I am the chairman for GHA for the United States. In addition, I will be hosting this new monthly video cast on all the things that are happening and any relevant news for GHA. jump right into this with the most recent GHA news. Probably the absolutely most recent news is the release of this video, which is going to be a monthly event for GHA, and we call it V News, kind of like a, a blog, but in video form, so a video blog. Uh, what we're going to do is once a month, there will be a video that's about a half an hour long that will give everyone updates on everything GHA. For example, um, upcoming events, upcoming promotion exams, which kind of falls in the events, but we'll be doing those separately if we have any. Uh, any news about publications that we have just released, which we'll be talking about these in a second. Um, we're going to be dropping in on Grandmaster Lee in every episode through FaceTime and talk to him and see if he has anything to say about uh, things going on in GHA. Uh, we're also going to have a section solely devoted to GHA USA, since uh, that's where this is being broadcast from. In addition, we'll have uh, recommended reading every month, so a book. We get a lot of requests for that. People ask me and Grandmaster Lee all the time if we can recommend books for them. Not necessarily have keto books, but just books in general. So I'm sure this is going to change over the month. This is the first episode after all, so. You know, within three or four months, this could be completely different. However, as of right now, that's kind of what we're going to, the format's going to be like. Uh, the other thing that's in big in the news department right now is the GHA color belt manuals are now completely finished. Uh, there are, yes, there are some typos uh, that have to be fixed, um, like a comma misplaced here or there, a misspelled word, but the actual physical content is is absolutely dead on. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with that. So right now on Amazon worldwide, uh, there are eight of these manuals starting at ninth cup and going through second cup. And people always say, well, what happened to first cup and what happened to 10th cup? So GHA's color belt or gut curriculum is based on ninth cup and down to first cup. So there are basically um, eight manuals for that. Uh, why there isn't a tenth cup is because we don't have a tenth cup rank. White belt is ninth cup in GHA's new curriculum. We don't have a first cup manual because once you are the second cup manual takes you to first cup. Once you're a first cup, there's no new material between that and first on. It's a cumulative exam. There will be a first cup workbook that will help people prepare for their first on or first degree black belt exam but there will not be a first cup manual. Uh, each one of these is about 70 to 80 pages long. Uh, they're all, the covers are all identical with the exception of what gup it is. And what's nice is when you put these on a bookshelf, you can tell uh, based on these lines here, uh, what gup it's for. Uh, what's really nice is inside, let me just pull one out of the middle here. Uh, the, the manuals are in full color. 
see, so you can see some of these. They are in full color. Uh, and what's absolutely amazing is every physical technique and also all the Korean, uh, there will be a QR code uh, with it. All you have to do is scan this with your phone and it will take you to either a video for whatever the physical technique is so you can watch the video or if it's Korean, it will actually, so let me go to the Korean section here. Here is um, technique terminology for kicks and blocks and strikes. If you scan this, it will actually read you it in English and it will read it to you in Korean to help with your pronunciation of the words. So as I said, these are all available on Amazon. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you get them in two days. They are $19.95. You can get them in Japan. You can get them in Europe. You can get them in Canada, Mexico. You can get them Australia. You can get them everywhere uh, pretty much at this point. So check these out and make sure you pick up a copy as soon as possible. Now there are two other options in addition to buying these uh, all eight separately at $20 a piece. We released a two volume set, which is four ranks and four ranks. So volume one would be the lower ranks and volume two would be the four upper ranks. Uh, those are obviously more expensive. However, if you buy them together, you save almost 50% off of the cost of if you buy these all separately. In addition, we have a single volume which contains all the manuals in one book. Now it's not this thick because there's a lot of pages that are repeated. It is about, about that thick, so a little, over, uh, a little over an inch. And again, it's in full color. There's nothing that's in the one that isn't in these or vice versa. Uh, and you end up saving even more money if you get the single book copy. As I said, all these are available on Amazon and they're available worldwide. Now let's spend a little bit of time talking about the next event that's coming for GHA. Uh, we have a couple small little things scattered throughout the next few months, but the next major event is going to be held in September, September 20th through the 22nd down in Cancun, Mexico. It will be the second annual uh, GHA educational retreat. Uh, this year, Master Adrian Garcia, who is a, the vice chairman of GHA Mexico and also is a vice chairman for GHA's um, board of directors, is hosting it. Uh, this event, if you didn't come to the first one, starts on Friday night, which is September the 20th, at six o'clock, we go till 11 o'clock at night. On Saturday, we wake up at seven in the morning for morning meditation on the beach. And we go through the entire day, stopping for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, finishing at 11 o'clock at night. And then on Sunday, we wake up again at seven o'clock in the morning for morning meditation on the beach. And then we end somewhere between 11 and uh, 11 a.m. and 12 noon. Uh, the retreat will be at the Ibero Star down in Cancun, which if you've ever been there, is one of the nicer hotels, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. It's right on the beach. It's uh, based out off of a Mayan pyramid. It's absolutely gorgeous. All your food, all your drinks, basically everything is included with the hotel fee. Uh, and the retreat itself uh, is a separate fee. We have a lot of people that are going to this this year. As of right now, we have over 20 people signed up for the retreat, but most of them are bringing family members with them or significant others or whoever. Uh, and they are basically going to be staying uh, for longer to make it a vacation. I am personally staying from Friday all the way through the following Friday, and so is uh, Grandmaster Lee. He's staying to the following Thursday. Uh, the reason for this is, as soon as the retreat is actually over, uh, we'll have a day break, uh, which is Monday, and then on Tuesday, we start doing some sightseeing. We're going to go to Chichen Itza, which if you've never been to it, is this Mayan pyramid that's absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, if you've never seen a pyramid, a real pyramid before, you will uh, just stand in awe in front of this. That this was actually built back in those days. Um, that trip also consists of going to a cenote, which is an underground river. Uh, we stop and get food and 
uh, shopping and all that. That would be on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we're going to go over to the uh, Isle of Mothers, which is a very small island off the coast of Cancun. You rent a little uh, golf cart and drive around. And then on Thursday, that is still up in the air. Uh, we do have something we want to do. It's just a matter of whether or not we can get tickets for it yet. So you know, let's make that a surprise if that actually pans out. But back to the actual retreat. So the people that are coming that aren't doing the retreat, they can just hang out in the resort while those of us who are doing the retreat um, actually are taking the retreat. So the retreat will feature basically one hour long classes throughout all uh, Friday night, all day Saturday and uh, Sunday morning. We will be covering the five different phases of education within GHA. Uh, we'll be doing some weapons um, education. We'll be doing some meditation, some, um, some mind or uh, energy work. We'll be doing some unarmed kicking, punching, uh, walking sort of patterns. So we're basically going to be covering all these different uh, phases of GHA's curriculum. Uh, who's teaching? Well, obviously Grandmaster Lee will be there. He's teaching classes. Uh, I will be teaching classes. Master Garcia, since he's hosting it, will be teaching classes. And as a side note, um, we already have 2020 sponsor, but if you are a GHA school and you live in an interesting area um, that we can all bring our families to, uh, think about hosting this event in the future uh, because it's always Grandmaster Lee, whoever happens to be the director of education, which is uh, I currently am, and the hosting school's head instructor are the primary instructors for this retreat. In addition, we might have board members that occasionally pop in and teach as well. So Master Garcia's father, um, Grandmaster Garcia, he will be teaching a class on pressure points, which if you've never taken one of his pressure point classes before, is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and then um, uh, Master Lee from Korea, who happens to be GHA uh, Korea's chairman, will be coming from Korea to be teaching some classes as well. So, Full lineup of five of us will be teaching, as I said, basically hour long classes. We'll be doing morning meditation on the beach. We have a cardio class on the beach. Uh, we're doing uh, knife defense, uh, everything else I mentioned as well. So it'll be a great event. How much does it cost? Everyone always asks that. It's $195 for the actual retreat. Uh, and that's paid directly to GHA once you're down in Cancun. How much does the resort cost? Well, they have all these different level rooms. But the base level room, assuming you share it with someone, is $108 per person per night. So $216 per night for two people. And again, that covers all your food, all your drinks, basically everything. Um, there are some higher level rooms. For example, there's a ocean view, there's a sea view, which is the water that's on the other side of uh, the ocean. We're kind of on a little island in Cancun. Um, there's a garden view, there's, there's villas that cost an insane amount of money that you can rent. So there's different levels. And in a second, when we get further along, I'll tell you how you can actually sign up for that. So how do you sign up for the retreat? Well, the most important thing to do first is get your room. So I'm gonna tell you how to do that in the next section. I get your airfare and then simply send us, uh, connect at GHA, uh, USA.com. That's the email address. That's connect at ghausa.com. Send us an email with your itinerary for your flight, uh, and you're signed up. And you just bring the 195 US dollars with you, and when you can pay GHA when you get there. Uh, what to bring? Bring your. You will get a T-shirt. Um, not this T-shirt, but you'll get a T-shirt. And so you'll wear your T-shirt. You'll wear your GHA pants, and obviously your GHA belt. Um, so, if you have any questions, you can use that same email address to send me an email and I'd be more than happy to answer it. We have people from all over the place coming, from all sorts of different countries, not just Mexico and the United States. It's an event that you, you don't want to miss if you're part of GHA. If you missed the first one at Grandmaster Lee School, you really should consider coming to this one. All right, so what comes after Cancun? Well, there are two major events that are coming up. Uh, one is simply a sanctioned GHA event. 
uh, and one is actually a GHA event in itself. The first one is in January. It's on Martin Luther King Day weekend, which is the 16th through the 19th, Thursday through Sunday. And that is my association. So uh, I am head of an association that's actually a member of GHA. Um, for the last 28 years, we have hosted a black belt retreat in the southern part of New York State uh, on Martin Luther King Day weekend. And Grandmaster Lee teaches at it as well, and so does Master Garcia. And we have a couple other instructors that teach other martial arts other than Hapkido. Um, this is a retreat that's open to all martial arts, and it, we teach a lot of different martial arts, not just Hapkido. So Grandmaster Lee teaches Hapkido. Uh, I teach Taekwondo classes. Master Garcia teaches police tactics, restraints, that sort of thing. We have a very, very high ranking Kali instructor that teaches Kali classes, Filipino uh, stick fighting. We, and we have an Aikido instructor uh, that is a high ranking instructor from Aikido Koki Kai, which is an international um, association of Aikido schools. So all five of us teach classes. It is, as I said, it starts on Thursday night at six o'clock at night, ends on Sunday at noon. It's a little more intense than the GHA's educational retreat. We start at uh, 4.30 in the morning on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And on Friday and Saturday, we go to 11 o'clock at night. We have lunch breaks, dinner, breakfast, and so on. But other than that, constant classes. We have 36 one-hour classes to choose from. Uh, each hour, there's always two classes going on, and you get to pick uh, between one or the other. Uh, so if you something really fascinates you, you can take that class as opposed to the other class. Um, as I said, this is the 28th year that we've done this. Uh, it is in the southern tier of New York by the city of Corning. If you ever heard of Corning Glass, that's where that comes from. And uh, it's gorgeous. The founder of IBM bought this huge homestead, and that's where it is. We have two training floors that are probably, I don't know, 3,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, something like that huge training floors. We also have a couple of lecture halls. We have a meditation hall. We have dormitory housing or even hotel style housing. Uh, so it, it's absolutely amazing. And as I said, we have uh, black belts from all different martial arts. You have to be an adult and you have to be a black belt to go to this. Um, we average somewhere usually around 50 uh, participants every year. And it is something that uh, you really should try to come to if you can. It is a unique opportunity that nowadays you can't really find anywhere, um, maybe in, you know, in Korea or Japan or something or in China, but outside of those countries, you're never going to find anything like it. And even in those countries, you'd be hard pressed to find something like this. Uh, the next event is a GHA event and that will be in April. And that is our uh, annual Korea tour. Uh, for those of you who went on the last year's one, we are eliminating some of those things that people didn't like, like the tour of the television station, the new amusement park, and so on. And we're adding more of everything that people did like, like um, more archery time, more sword cutting time, uh, more uh, martial art classes with famous people. We'll still be doing the Kukiwan tour. We'll still be doing the Bra Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We'll have a Taekwondo class. We'll be going to be doing the archery and the sword cutting. Uh, but we're going to be doing a lot more than just that. In addition, uh, I'm going to let Grandmaster Lee in his, his little segment of this talk about it. There is a big surprise at the very end of the tour this year, but you have to wait for that. All right, so what is GHA currently working on? You know, we always get these emails. People, they, they feel like they don't know what's happening within GHA. So people constantly call Grandmaster Lee up, those of you who, you know, actually do that. Uh, but the rest of us, or the rest of the people that don't do that, uh, seem to be left in the dark sometimes. So what are we currently working on? We just finished the GUP manuals. As I said, there are a few small errors in those, and those are going to be tweaked and republished. Uh, the first GUP workbook is about this close to being finished and will probably be sent to the publisher by the end of this week. So that will be on uh, Amazon as well. It has written exams and testing requirements and all that in it. Um, but now that we're done with that, what are we working on? Well, two things primarily. Uh, the first is our web pages. 
So GHA's webpage currently is not very good and it is completely being overhauled so that it's faster, it's mobile device friendly. Uh, so in other words, you can look at it on your iPhone or your, your Samsung or whatever it is you use, your smartphone, and it will fit and it's not gonna be all distorted or you have to zoom in. Uh, so that is pretty much finished. And it is, if you wanna actually take a look at it, even though it's not done yet, it's globalhapketoassociation.org. And the reason I'm telling you that, even though it's not done, and this is, goes back to what I talked about just a little while ago, is that's how you can sign up or sign up for your room in Cancun for the educational retreat. Uh, there is a link if you go there right now and you click on, if you scroll down a little bit, there'll be an article about the educational retreat. It's a post, you click on that, and it will have a link for you to sign up for your rooms. Um, so check it out. Remember, it's under construction. However, out of the three web pages we're currently working on, it is the one that's closest to being finished. We're in the process right now of putting all the member schools in all 43 countries that we currently have. That is time consuming. So other than that, it's, it's pretty much done. So check it out. It's globalhapketoassociation.org. If you use any of the other ones like GHA Hat Keto, that will still take you to the old page. But Check it out, sign up for your room in Cancun as soon as possible. The other one we're working on is the GHA USA's webpage, ghausa.com. Uh, that one is finished in the section that every the general public can get to. However, there is a member only section. If you click on it, you have to enter a special password that gets you into the member only section. That part isn't finished yet. So what's in it? Uh, that's where all the member schools can find all the forms they need. Like if they're doing black belt testing, uh, black belt registration forms, uh, membership forms, uh, information on testing, how to test, links to different videos, and so on. Not necessarily technique videos, but anything that's related to how to, how to things you might need for your school or how to, uh, things you might, uh, GHA suggests for your school and how to run your school, that, that sort of thing. And the last page, uh, and again, you can go to that right now, it's just not finished, and it's ghausa.com. The last one, which is going to be GHA's uh, educational portal, is insidehapketo.com. That one is nowhere near being finished, and what'll happen is when you go to that page, it'll have just some, some small news and articles but there will be a member section that you can click on and that will basically have all the videos, all the testing requirements for all the different ranks, um, both if you are a full curriculum school or a partial curriculum school and embedded videos. So think of it as kind of like a interactive um, manual uh, and that will only be available to current GHA member schools and then it's up to the schools you know, who, who gets access to that. So those are the three web pages that we're currently working on. And as I said, the first one should be done very shortly. Uh, and then we're gonna be working in that order. GHA USA's page next. And then finally, uh, after that, we'll be working on the Inside Hap Keto as well. Okay, so this next section of V News is we call the Founders Whisper. Uh, it's where we call, and in a second we're gonna do this, we, we FaceTime with Grandmaster Lee and he tells us about something he's working on or he might elaborate on something I mentioned already. Uh, why is it called that? Well, there's a, a famous quote that uh, one of my instructors said uh, in a lecture he gave that I attended probably 30 years ago, and it goes like this. If someone comes up to you and whispers the truth in your left ear, and someone else comes up to you and asks for the truth out of your right ear, you have an obligation to share that truth. So that's kind of why it's called the Founder's Whisper. So Grandmaster Lee will be, in essence, uh, sharing GHA's truth with us, and so that's why we're calling it this. So without any more delay, let's give him a call and see what he has to say. Hello, sir. Okay, for those of you who don't know, this is actually our second try. The first try was a miserable <laughs> failure, so we're trying this again. 
Um, all right. So, uh, sir, you're going to talk a little bit about the two of the upcoming events we have for Global. The first one is our event, our education retreat that we're doing in Cancun in September. Uh, if you could talk a little bit about that. And also, you were just there about a month ago. If you could talk about, you know, how nice the, the retreat center is and so on. Yes, sir. Uh, first, uh, Cancun. Uh, trip. We stopped to the last month, go to the check, and uh, their uh, location is a hotel, and it's, uh, it's amazing. It's just like a heaven to me. Okay. Uh, very uh, beautiful view with a uh, uh, very safe. I can say it's a family environment, so you can bring to the your children or spouse. I can say it's a fantastic. You know, and then they have a golf course, and then they got a lot of uh, side activities to available. Right. You, know, you got scuba dive and other stuff too. So that is a great, and we have a really great, um, what we call the uh, uh, seminal inside the place. And some of them is an amazing place. So we have a uh, uh, do it, and the morning meditation with a beach, yeah. <laughs> unbelievable. They have a. Uh, Beach has I never see the no not even small rock. There's right. pure sand, such a beautiful yes sir. Well, that's <laughs> great. Yeah, no, we're gonna sit in the morning and we have classes basically throughout the whole day. So it's I'm yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. And you went in the water. Was the water warm? Yes, sir. Yes. Warm and a lot of very salty. <laughs> yes, and 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 it was you know not even in the summer. So by when we go, it's gonna be very warm when we're down there for the water. So that's good. Okay, and um, the next thing is we this year we went on a tour to Korea, uh, yes. which is something that GHA does on a regular basis. And this coming year in 2020, we're going to be going to Korea again in the middle of April. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, sir. Uh, I think this uh, this year we have a really great program, and uh, so many countries wanted to more join it. So next year. We have uh, more uh, Europe wanted to join as well. Um, I think so. This uh, not just only tour and training, but uh, not just only hapkido training. It's a top of that. We try the traditional uh, Korean uh, Tekken. We have to train okay. with that, and then uh, some uh, grandmasters or founder of uh, martial arts. We have the training with a uh, uh, time with them, and also. We like to have a last day of the uh, training. Uh, Sunday, we like to set up as a championship with it. Oh, good, good. And we have um, lots of people from all sorts of countries coming to this. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. reasons we like to put a championship in. You know, this already there to the training and um, uh, what they call tours and all right. together. Right. We're done. And then uh, one more adding on to the championship with it yes good all right well thank you sir for joining us for a few minutes and hopefully next month we won't have such technological problems that we had this month and um we'll see you then bye sir, yes, sir. thank you day. bye everybody see you bye, -bye. all right in this section i want to talk about uh, gha usa specific news so uh, Grandmaster Lee and I actually have this kind of race going on. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we actually have schools in more countries than we do in states. So the United States is very lacking in the number of schools we have specifically in states. We have a lot of schools in certain states, but we also have a lot of states that have absolutely no schools. So we're kind of competing right now to see who can get to 51st. Um, and obviously I am the one that's trying to get the 50 states and he's trying to get the 50 countries. So to that end, we have, GHA has broken uh, the United States up into regions and we have already started appointing regional vice chairman. So if you, if you don't know how the structure works, so Whoever is the head of the national governing body for GHA for that country is called chairman. So I am chairman of GHA USA. Um, the region heads, if a country has regions, are called vice chairman. For example, the 
person that is at the head of the Great Lakes region of the United States is the vice chairman of GHA USA's Great Lakes region. Uh, in addition to that, we are also going to be appointing presidents for individual states. That's the person that's in charge of the state for GHA. That person answers directly to the regional vice chairman, who then in turn answers to me for the United States. Um, we will also be having vice presidents for states, and depending on the state. So, for example, California is huge, right? So is Texas. Um, those vice chairmen could basically, I mean, those vice presidents could basically be getting sections of the state. But for most smaller states, the vice presidents, it's up to, it's up to the president of that state. Um, basically, they are people that will help that person promote GHA within the state. So however many the president of that state feels they need, they can appoint as long as it's approved by the regional vice chairman, by myself, and obviously by Grandmaster Lee. So uh, in the news for GHA USA right now is we have appointed two uh, regional vice chairmen. Uh, the first was promoted just a few days ago on, on Saturday, and that is Deborah Gutzwiller, who lives down in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. She was appointed to the vice chairman for the Great Lakes region of the United States. And in addition to that, uh, Mr. Ian Dillon, uh, uh, yesterday, on Sunday, he was appointed to the position of uh, vice chairman for the northeastern region of the United States. So New York, um, Vermont, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, all those northeastern states. Uh, if you get on JHAUSA.com, there is actually a map that shows the different regions. Uh, if you happen to live in a state that is not part of those two regions and you are interested in applying for the position of regional chairman, there's actually an application, uh, not really an application, it just tells us, tells you what to send to us on that page that you can send in and um, request to be considered. We just had someone fairly recently from California that did just that uh, and has requested the position and Grandmaster Lee and I are are looking into it right now. So you'll see a lot of changes in this in the near future. What's gonna happen is those regional chairmen will try to start opening, uh, recruiting schools within the states that they have that they don't have schools in. Uh, they'll be promoting and supporting the schools that they currently have. On the webpage, we'll be offering seminars to those people uh, throughout the US and the different regions. So there are a lot of benefits to this once we get it going. So just keep an eye on that. We'll be, I'll be reporting on this a little bit more in the future. Uh, when we promote uh, people or uh, to these positions, we'll also be letting you know on social media and on these V News episodes. Okay, so we're almost to the end. This is the last main section. Uh, normally, there is going to be something after this in this first episode just to explain what the last section is. But this is our recommended book of the month. Uh, this is actually my recommendation uh, just because I use these a lot. So in, um, in martial arts and a lot of martial arts styles, uh, instructors use these things called, uh, the Japanese word for them is uh, koan, uh, as educational tools. And what they are is they basically are kind of like riddles that can't be answered with the thinking mind. Um, these were originally developed in Zen Buddhism. However, uh, yes, and yes, there are religious koans and they do use them within Zen. However, the ones that are typically used as martial art koans are absolutely non-religious. So uh, you can use them and have no fear that it's going to you know, offend anyone in their religious beliefs. So my recommendation is a collection of these uh, koans and it's called the Iron Flute. Uh, and there's a hundred koans in here. Now it does say Zen koans. However, again, a lot of these, some of these can't be used, but a lot of these can be used. So instead of just teaching uh, some mental concept 
you know, like lecturing on a whiteboard or something, or just lecturing to the students, why not use something like this that they really truly think about? So I have students, there's this one koan, it's the bowl in the window uh, that I use all the time. And I have students that have, it's taken them 10 years to figure out the answer. And it's, it's actually quite funny. I had a student that stopped martial arts altogether, moved to California, became a promoter for children for television commercials. And she called me probably five years after I had seen her last on the phone screaming that she figured out the answer. And sure enough, she did. Just, so just think about that. How many times do you lecture on some mental element of martial arts? How long do you truly think your students think about that for? So this is a way that you can create a little bit of excitement about the mental aspects of what you're teaching. Uh, there are two books out that are collections of these koans, The Iron Flute and The Blue Cliff Record. Um, that, the Blue Cliff is about like this thick. Um, tends to have a lot more religious koans, as, you know, Zen, Buddhism koans in it. Uh, I just find this is much easier to approach. Uh, it's a much easier read. And if you can find this, this is a hardcover copy. Uh, it's a Tuttle published book, uh, but give it a shot. You can get this on Amazon for almost nothing used. So take a look for it and give it a read and try something new. Okay, so this last section typically is going to be almost like, um, you know the movie trailers that aren't really long, that are just like a few seconds long? Like when a new Star Wars movie comes out, it might, you know, like a year ahead of time, it might just be a picture of a lightsaber and then a date or something, like a teaser. I think that's actually what they call them. This is basically a teaser for something that's, that's coming up. And we call this section uh, Echo of Voices. And why is it called that? Well, there's this very famous Chinese poem that translated, my favorite translation is this. So long seen the hills, there is no one in sight, but whence is the echo of voices I hear? The rays of the sunset pierce slanting the forest, and in their reflection, green mosses appear. So that's why we're gonna call this. So this is the echo of voices. Uh, if you've ever been in a forest, all alone. Uh, sometimes you, you think you hear voices in the distance. It, they might be voices or it could just be sound playing tricks on you. So it's kind of like you're just hearing it a little bit, but you're not hearing everything. And that's what this section is going to be all about. So what are we going to talk about? What is the echo in this month? Well, how funny is that? So the echo must have been so quiet that I um, forgot what the echo of voices was. Um, so here's what the echo is. So this echo of voices this month is all about uh, lineage. And hopefully, either in next month's V News or the following month's V News, you'll see why. See everyone next month on GHA's Venus.